it takes a year. I've been aware of this concept for a very long time. I heard it a long time ago and it kind of went into the back of my mind in the dark recesses as a, we'll pull that out later when we actually need it. <laughs> the concept is it takes a year. When you retire from a job, you are not supposed to do anything major for an entire year because that's a huge shift. You no longer have the external accolades. You no longer have the community, the water cooler conversations, the socialization, the routine of getting up, getting ready, going to work, and then coming back. And it takes a while to really settle into the new way of life. Well, when I first heard it, it was in response to retirement or it was in response to someone passing a very dear close loved one like your life partner or a parent that you're supposed to give yourself a year that's a year to grieve a year to settle in a year to really adjust to i can't call them they're not here anymore it takes a year to truly adjust to that shift, to that change. Now, my mom was diagnosed with Lewy body dementia a year ago. And that first year, it was constant struggle trying to juggle everything that was going on and the new decline and the new meds and how is she doing and really trying to understand and doing research and taking classes to grasp what we would be going through and magically at some point i started to feel like i've totally got this and i was worried that i was just disassociating from life or that maybe that i was apathetic because all of a sudden the emotion was not there when it came time to deal with something and yet my talk doc reminded me it takes a year takes a year to adjust. It's been a year that I have been able to learn how to master being a caregiver. When someone sits down and plays the piano the first time, they are not a master. When somebody goes and plays basketball for the first time, they are not perfect. When you go rock climbing the first time, when you go running, whatever it is, the first time you are not a pro. We take time to learn assimilate and master whatever it is that we are trying to do. It takes a year to really get it. At this time, we are starting a new year. And oftentimes people are saying, I am setting these New Year's resolutions. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And in the past, I've told everyone, take baby steps. Instead of saying, I am going to walk a mile every day, say, you know what? I'm just gonna walk more today than I did yesterday. I'm shifting that just a little bit. I still want you to take baby steps, but in the same aspect, I want to encourage you to give yourself a year. In the beginning, it will be difficult. It will be very hard. You may be extremely emotional and frustrated. You may feel like you're failing. Keep at it. It takes a year to truly be that much better, to truly understand and feel capable and be where you want to be. We are in a society right now that wants instant gratification and yet when we don't get that instant gratification, we're very upset and frustrated. Give yourself time, allow the time. And then you get to look back and say, holy crap, I really did it. I did great. You can celebrate the progress that you've made, the things that you've achieved, and how far you've come. It will take a year. If you are setting any kind of New Year's resolutions, I encourage you, number one, find baby steps that you can build on. And number two, 
instead of expecting instant gratification, acknowledge that it will take time so that it's less frustrating when it's not immediate or you hit a little bit of a plateau and you'll be able to acknowledge, I still have more time. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again next week. Thank you.